Today we are talking about why Palantir's stock price target was upgraded. Palantir Technologies, which specializes in software platforms, experienced a notable increase in its share price on Monday following a significant endorsement. Analysts at Argus Research initiated coverage on Palantir stock with a buy rating and set a price target of $29. They highlighted an increasing emphasis on business solutions that could enhance the company's profitability. Recently, an analyst, Joseph Bonner, recognized that Palantir has consistently met the demand requirements of United States defense and intelligence agencies. However, the company is now also aiming to expand its reach into the commercial sector. In particular, the focus on data management and analytics platforms seems to provide a promising framework. According to Seeking Alpha, Bonner noted that Palantir's government business generated 55% of its revenue in 2023, while the remaining 45% came from its commercial segment, with 38% of that being generated outside the United States. Although the government business is expected to continue growing, Bonner believes that the primary driver for the future growth of Palantir stock lies in the commercial sector. The burgeoning artificial intelligence sector offers Palantir an opportunity to set itself apart from its competitors, but Bonner acknowledges that Palantir Palantir stock is not without its flaws. For instance, the market prices its shares at a premium. Currently, they trade at nearly 75 times forward earnings and almost 25 times trailing year revenue. Additionally, while Palantir stock has increased by over 49% on a year-to-date basis, it has also experienced volatility. Compared to its early 2021 peak price, Palantir remains in the red. Nevertheless, with a trailing 52-week performance of almost 57%, the company has shown steady progress bolstering Argus confidence. Experts at Argus further mentioned that the company has significantly improved its profitability and cash flow over the past year. Seeking Alpha reported that Argus is forecasting a 2024 non-GAAP earnings per share estimate of 33 cents and a 2024 forecast of 40 cents for Palantir. However, it should be noted that the analyst community as a whole remains cautious about Palantir stock, rating it a consensus hold. Moreover, the average price target stands at $22.11, implying approximately 11% downside risk. Nevertheless, the future appears promising due to their artificial intelligence platform offering. Many companies have developed artificial intelligence models to perform specific tasks, but there are limited practical ways to integrate artificial intelligence into a business's core operations. Additionally, numerous companies are concerned that integrating their data into third-party artificial intelligence models could compromise their data integrity. This is where Palantir's artificial intelligence platform comes into play. The platform allows users to easily develop various applications applications within a business to deploy artificial intelligence in practical ways. Although the applications are virtually endless, some use cases include automating accounts payable, integrating consumer data with customer service teams, and resolving warranty claims. Palantir's artificial intelligence platform has been highly successful and has significantly impacted its United States commercial business. In quarter one, Palantir's United States commercial customer count rose by 69% year over year and 19% quarter over quarter. Revenue from this segment increased by 40% year over year to $150 million. Notably, this revenue was generated from only 262 customers. Even with a relatively small number of clients subscribing to Palantir's products, the growth potential is substantial. However, one caveat is the software's price. With 262 customers generating $150 million in quarterly revenue, the average annual subscription price is approximately $2.29 million per customer. Few companies can afford such an expense each year, but the advantages these artificial intelligence models provide may justify the cost. Currently, the artificial intelligence platform has not attracted much interest from the government sector, but management believes this will change. Governments are conducting thorough evaluations before heavily integrating artificial intelligence into their operations. Given that United States government revenue accounted for more than 40% of Palantir's total in quarter one, this represents a significant opportunity. The market recognizes Palantir's top-tier artificial intelligence platform product and growth prospects, so the stock is not cheap. Although Palantir is profitable, its margins have not yet reached their maximum potential, so using a traditional metric like the price-to-earnings ratio is not applicable in this scenario. Instead, evaluating the company using the price-to-sales ratio is more appropriate. While Palantir is experiencing healthy growth, a company's price-to-sales ratio exceeding its revenue growth rate is a red flag. 
However, if the artificial intelligence platform gains traction in the government division, its growth could accelerate rapidly and exceed its current valuation. At the end of the day, Palantir is poised to be a significant beneficiary of widespread artificial intelligence adoption, but this success is already reflected in the stock price. If investors wish to purchase Palantir shares, there is nothing inherently wrong with that decision, but they should be aware that any misstep in a quarterly earnings report could trigger a substantial sell-off. The artificial intelligence platform is Palantir's strategic advantage in the artificial intelligence race. With that being said, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video.